And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Talented fighter making the walk here tonight. I will be surprised, Joe, if we see him put on his back at any point tonight. Incredible takedown defense, great balance, very solid base, an outstanding sprawl that's very quick and athletic. And for a lot of fighters, they waste a lot of energy trying to bring this man down. Got to think the smart approach will be to see if you can get the shot early, but if it doesn't materialize, go to plan B. This guy's takedown defense north of 90%. Some of the best takedown artists in the world have failed to take him down. Apparently he worked tremendously hard on cardio for this camp. is someone who can adapt to any style, and Bruce Lee himself certainly fits the bill. The founder of Jeet Kune Do and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts, he is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. As good a combination of speed, striking, unpredictability, and precision as we've ever had in martial arts, good to see Bruce Lee making the UFC walk tonight. This guy has inhuman cardio. The pace in which he keeps is absolutely breathtaking. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Bergliotta. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Sold Out Arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Mecca, Saudi Arabia, the king! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, get the rules of the locker room. You want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. You ready? Let's Round one. <laughs> Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Look at that nasty jab. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh, going to the head kick now, it's good. Damaging strike there. Keeps a, a nice right hand. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh! This could be it! Wow, what a head kick! The left hook hits home. Some more output, at least in the early going. 
Good defense there. Counters with a straight leg. How about that shin? Slips the punch nicely there. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Well, that kick landed the body. Oh, oh man! Big body shot! He is stumbling. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, head kick! Hard hook to the body. Big straight punch. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Misses a huge hook to the head. He gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Throwing that. The kick oh. lands. He's stunned. He's got hurt here. Big shots. The left hook hits home. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Lee. Oh, stunning jab. Just over two minutes now to go. He caught that one right on the knee. That could have hurt. Joe judges handle like that uppercut. And there he swung with a haymaker. <gasps> nice body kick right there. I think this is a brutal cut for him. Oh, tags him with that money left again. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Just misses with the straight left hand. Back to the left hand now, but unable to connect Joe. And he eats a right hand there. Under a minute to go. Glance to the body there. Oh, strong uppercut for him there. That'll get his attention. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. Tagged him. Nice job to avoid the crash. Knee the body. Beautiful timing with the left hand. Big right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Couldn't agree with you more. Big That's power in that shot is true. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. And here's another devastating shot to the head that really does damage. And here's another shot to the head that really stuns. Carly Baker in the building tonight, thank you very much. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? All right, round two. 
Now, starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes. And at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter. But tonight, he has worked the body to great effect. And those are really starting to take their toll. Absolutely. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, he's hurt! He's hurt! He's not! Oh, he might be out! Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Front leg side kick, very effective. Nice one, two there. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Oh, tags him with that uppercut, Joe. Hand speed, man. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. This could be it right here. Just missed with that huge kick. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. The cut on his cheek is getting nasty. Oh! <laughs> Throwing that jab yet again out of range. They are trading huge punches here. landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, nice. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Well, he got his head snap back there, Joe. The straight punch lands flush to the head. And again, he's just not doing things defensively that you want to see. Move that upper body. Get that head off of the center line. Right now. Oh, oh, he's out. He's out. And just like that, the fight is over. And it was a beautiful, accurate uppercut that got the job done. Yeah, Joe, a near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Let's see it one more time. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta is going to stop this contest at 2 minutes, 47 seconds of round number 2. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon! Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often than not, Lee's skills are enough to rue the day. That was once again the case in this one. How about Bruce Lee?